Grab a pen, grab a book, man. Let's learn. And today, man, we got property investment in South Africa. So basically, we got the we're gonna have tips on how to invest in property, especially in South Africa. So if this is for my homies, you feel me? But even my international friends, you feel me? You can just vote. you will you can view it and then you will learn how to invest. Investment is the same thing. You just have to check out your environment you feel me so i felt like i should do this for my all the homies so this video is property investment in south africa five rules to follow you feel me so let's just see what the five rules are let's hope we make the best out of the video you feel me don't forget to like this video and comment let's go in this video i'm going to describe the five percent rule percent rule is really easy to understand so it's gonna go quick so just hang with me let's say 95 percent of people don't know what they want they don't have a dream they don't want to achieve more they are happy with what they've got and that's just fine the sad part about that is they will refer to the other five percent as the foolish lot the dreamers the oh i get it man the five percent rule positive property investment in south africa the five percent rule you feel me 95 percent of the other people who want to live the middle class life live on what you would earn from work some poor they want to bag and then there's those five percent who are dreamers you feel me the gold getters they want to risk it all you feel me to get more which is me people that want to achieve more the people that's got a dream so the 95 refer to the five percent as the crazy lot the people that want to achieve something all right now let's say for instance once i don't know how but you ended up being part of the five percent you've got a dream you want to achieve more you want to become a property investor and have multiple properties yeah. okay what now how do you actually do it now the sad part about the five percent is from the five percent only four percent will take some sort of action they will actually look at properties they will do a course they will read a book they will study some youtube channel of someone and subscribe and like and all that stuff yeah. that's the four percent from the five percent now from the four percent only three percent will continue to do that will continue to educate themselves on what is the property laws what do where do i have to buy properties what do i have to do if you want to write a book how do I write a book? How do I start? What must be in the first chapter? What must be in the second chapter? Whatever your dream is, only 3% will continue to pursue that dream. Even though other people are starting to laugh at them and say, Ah, oh, man, it's crazy. You can't write a book. You yeah, man. That, that's just true, man. I can speak from my perspective. From so when, when I started this YouTube thing, you know, I got like a lot of negative comments. You know, like people saying like YouTube is for the whites. Those kind of shit stuff from like South African YouTubers and like that. Man, like if you want to do you wanna do something from me, just go for it, make research, be open to learn, man. I I, I wanna learn daily from like I have a few projects I wanna do with YouTube and stuff, but the one one thing I love about Rickshaw the film is like you, you get to know new stuff, you get to learn new things daily from like if you have a dream of a film, like, just don't quit. Man. You might think that you should be great because you made a few roller stones, you've done your, your part, you feel like you feel like you've lost. But in reality, man, if you're still alive, man, you've lost, you feel me? So, yeah, just don't quit. You can't open a ballet school, you can't become a property investor. So, only 3% will say, um, well, I can. Remember, we're referring to this 5% as the dreamers, the crazy people, the people that don't know what they're doing. So only from that 5%, only 3% will say, well, I'm going to continue. I'm going to try this. I don't care about what you say. Okay. Now, that, from that 3%, only 2% will have a burning desire. What is a burning desire? Napoleon Hill in his book says it's something that you cannot think of anything else than this burning desire. It's something that you really, really want to do yeah if you're a property investor it's it's something that must consume your mind and the easiest way to do that is to exclude all other thoughts from your mind so if you subscribe to youtube channel subscribe to four property channels and don't subscribe to a car channel and a cat channel and all the other channels if you want to have a burning desire you have to submerge yourself with information about the thing that you are passionate about 
Okay, now we're back to 2%. So now the question comes, how can we turn from the 2% to the 1% that becomes seriously wealthy? And that's quite simple. You have to wait for your opportunity to come. At some point in time, preparation, when it meets opportunity, it creates luck. And that is how you become one of the wealthiest people in the world. Okay, so now that we know the formula, let's just run it back. Because if you say you want to become a seriously successful property investor, you want to become this or you want to write a book, start with the 1% and work yourself up because you know what you want. Okay, so you know you want to become seriously wealthy or successful or write a book or make a difference in the world. Now, that's the 1% mentality. Now, the next thing is you have to wait for a little bit of luck to come your way. Now, if you're a property investor, what is the odds of you watching this video right now? From all the videos in the world, on these thousands of videos on YouTube, you had a little bit of luck. I don't know how it happened, but you are watching this video. You were lucky to watch this video. So you've got the luck. Now, if you've got the luck, you know you want to become seriously successful, now we work ourselves up. What's the next thing? You have to have a burning desire. So you have to decide, I will have this, this much properties this long from now. You can't say, I just want a lot, because a lot, how much is that? Life might say, well, you have, there's one for you. You can have one property in 10 years from now. Yeah. You have to say, I, I want 10 properties three years from now. I want 100 properties five years from now. You have to believe that it's possible. And yeah. then you must create a burning desire in your mind. When you decide, I want to become a property investor, I want, like myself, I declared I'm, I'm going to have a thousand properties. Uh, I, I understand what he's saying from like, I, the way he's explaining it, man, it's just amazing. From like, he just broke it down from like, it gives you that inner motivation to just go get it, man. This in three years, that was my burning desire. I'm, I'm pursuing that because I'm submerging myself with information about books, videos, YouTube channels, anything, any online course, any property course, any coach that can teach property, I am your student. And that's what I did from the day when I decided a thousand properties, that's what I want to have. Now, the 95% looked at me and they said, you're crazy, you're a dreamer. And I said, well, I don't mind because the next step, the 3% rule is they will laugh at you. They will think you are crazy. They will probably be right if you give up. But if you don't give up, if you just continue to take the next little step, nothing can prevent you from doing it because there's other people. Man, I'm saving this video in my, in my PC for where like every day I'll, 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 I'll wake up and just view this video for you because even though it's breaking down how to become a property investor and stuff, man, but it's just motivating you also in everything that you do, you feel me? Like, come on. In the world that has done it, if they can do it, you can do it. There's nothing stopping you. You just have to take the next step. The next one is take action, the 4% rule. Take action. Just do whatever comes up next. If you have to read a book, read it. If you have to write the thing on a blog on the internet, write it. If you want to write a book, take a pen, take a paper, write. If you want to start a ballet school, do it. Nothing is stopping us. All right, the next thing is the 5% rule. People will think you are foolish. And at some points in time, and this is just how the human brain works, is you, yourself. Even though you had the luck, you had the burning desire. People laughed at you and you said, ah, whatever, you can laugh at me, that's your opinion. I'm not going to make your opinion my opinion. Even though people gave you advice to stop, quit it, do something else, you're never going to make it. You knew that you only take advice from the people who have what you want and you don't listen to the people who's in a position where you don't want to be. If a food... Yeah, man. If there's anyone who is gonna criticize me, it's, it's gonna be the person, the person who has what I want from like those are the only people who can just talk to me from like no you didn't do it right you, you should do it this way and that way you know not a person who doesn't have a thing that I want you from me man I like it the, the way you say it right there this man gives you advice why would you listen to that if the person that's got what you want gives you advice consume it make it your own every step of the way the 5%, people will laugh at you. People will say you are foolish. 
people will throw stones at you and destroy your dreams because they don't have a dream. They think if they can kill your dream, they've achieved something for the day. Yeah. My name is Jeroen van der Westhuis and I'm the founder of Arbo Property. If your dream is to create a property portfolio in South Africa, I'm your guy. I can help you. I've got an online course that can show you how to buy property without bond approval and without big upfront costs. Go to my website, rbuyproperty.co.za, and I'll see you on the other side. And that's it right there, man. How about property? Man, I'm definitely going to check their website, you know, especially since they're busy in my country. You know, like, I like the video. I like you how know, you broke it down for me. If you like the video, too, don't forget to smash the like button and give me a comment. And please, guys, subscribe, man, on the road to 2K. So just hit that subscribe button, man. And I hope you like the video. We out.